guys, what is up? Welcome to More Seasoning. Just kidding, welcome to Cooking with Trash. Um, but I actually have this recipe from a channel called More Seasoning. Shout out More Seasoning. It is Jacqueline Hill's boyfriend, long-term boyfriend. I apologize, I definitely made fun of his channel before, but honestly, that just came out of a place of hate and a lot of drugs, and I'm sorry. I'm no longer on drugs. I think they're in a really cute relationship, but actually, I've always stand, stand Jacqueline, but you know, birdies and then whatever. Um, I stand John Hill too, but I also stand Farnham Morrison. I stand them all. I stand them all. There's no, I don't like this person. I love them all. And he made, uh, chicken lo mein. So I'll link that below. I'm just like, I'm literally just following people's recipes on my channel. But I'm going to try my best to do my best. And yeah, so we just start off with chopping up some green onion. He's really good at this. I'm really not. I don't even know like how to do this. Okay, so he, we're going to start chopping up the onions. This is the prep work, as he calls it. <laughs> Actually, this is so cringe. I'm so cringe at chopping vegetables. Okay. That's, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. All right, so he, did I do it? <laughs> Are you guys even seeing? Oh my gosh, okay. This is something different. I always cook pasta, so I was like, okay, let me just try and like do something a little different. And um, this is definitely different, and this is definitely probably not how you chop green onions. I'm pretty sure these are just garnishes at the end, so I'm pretty sure they have to be like way littler. But is that good? I don't know. Okay, one fell. I am not using this one. I'm putting this one in the trash. Maybe I'll just try and do like one more quick little, quick little chop of these. Is she cute? I don't know. Okay, so I'm putting these in their own little bowl. That might be a lot. Like, I see some that are just way long, and yeah. So, I'm really, really bad at cutting. I'm sorry if I trigger anyone cooking. I do listen to your guys' advice, though. You know, keep the cooking mitt away from the oven. Um, boil the water before the pasta goes in. I am, like I said, I'm not a chef, but we're pretending to be one today, so. You put this in their own little bowl, and then you, um, and then I think you take the white part. <laughs> He's really good at editing, too. I'm really not saying. So now you going to take the white parts of these. Oh, gosh. Why was I such a hater? I, I'm, I cringe so hard sometimes at myself. Just know, if someone's, like, hating on you, right, like, either they're one, like, defending, like, someone that's their friend. Oh, let me just take these off first, because I don't think those are supposed to be in it. They're defending someone that they're close to and like, hey, cool, like, right? Like, let's say someone hates me and it's probably because they're friends with like, who am I in beef with? Do I have beef with anyone? I feel like I'm in one side of beef with everyone. I feel like nobody actually cares enough about me to be in beef with me. I don't know. Let's say you're friends. I don't even know. <laughs> Let me know who I have beef with and who would be mad. Give me an equivalent. Okay. He said put the white parts of these Oh my gosh, this is so freaking hard. In like a little vegetable thing. Okay, I think that's good enough for the whites. All right, so we don't want that mess, but we want this mess. Okay. So I'm gonna put this mess over here. The ones with the tentacles. And you know, you may ask yourself, Trisha, if you're just copying everyone else's recipe, what are you bringing to the YouTube table? And I'm bringing relatability. I'm bringing people who don't know how to chop vegetables and giving them a voice, giving them a reason, giving them confidence. So that's what I bring. Okay. So we have a little vegetable cup here. And then we go with an onion. He cut his in half. Why are onions so freaking sharp or hard to cut? Okay. Am I using the right side of the knife? I think I am. Okay. So I don't even know if I need this whole onion. It's a lot of onion. I did not get the ginger. That's like the one thing this recipe calls for that I did not get. I I suck. And then I think he cut it in half again. Okay. Alright, cool. And then I think we cut this one. I'm not sure if, if this is proper technique for cutting onions, but. It seems pretty good. 
I'll take out these green parts. They seem a little tough. All right. Should I cut this on your note too? Maybe. Is that too much onion? You know, I could cry when I cut onions. Everyone's like, oh, I'm just cutting an onion. I've never cried. Even when I used to like cry for videos, people would always be like, I don't know if I'm supposed to chop them this much, but I'm just going to hide. They'd always be like, oh, she cut, she cut an onion before doing this video. I mean, maybe they were being, I guess they were being sarcastic. I was like, onions definitely don't make me cry. All right, so now we take said onion and dump it in here. I mean, the main thing is the chicken and the noodles and the sauce. So, ow, I must have caught myself doing that. Um, okay. I'm going to throw that in there, too. And then you take these little baby tomatoes and chop them up. I don't really know if I like tomatoes so much. I'm not going to do that many of these. Although I am cooking for other people and not myself, so. All right. How did he even chop these? They're so baby. Oh, he diced them, I think. Oh. Okay. We might have to omit these. I think he had a dice right. This one just literally just said, I'm going to just squirt all over the place and you can't do anything about it. Oh, no. Oh, we are just squirting up a mess. Why are some of these squirting? Okay. I don't know what's happening with these juices, but they're, they're really trying it on my Fashion Nova outfit today. Not sponsored. Do we just put these in as like randoms? More seasoning is cringing right now. I don't know. I don't even really know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move on. So now now over to this next station. Um, did he mix it? I think he mixed it. Okay, I think he put ginger at the bottom of this, but I'm not really sure how much of each thing, each thing to put in. But we're gonna just make a sauce. Why is that coming out so slow? Okay, I'm not really sure how much to measure. I literally just like listen to. The things I needed and I said you know what we are as every chef says measuring with our hearts we're cooking with our hearts and we are gonna put soy sauce on the chicken so maybe I don't need that much soy sauce I don't know I don't even know how much sauce we're supposed to have I'm just literally gonna go down the line I don't know this is sesame oil and again I'm just kind of going like okay sesame oil like I feel like I like a lot of sesame oil so we're going with sesame oil I'm gonna put it here so I don't forget what I put in. Then we are going in with some rice vinegar, which doesn't sound as appealing, so we're going to just go light on the rice vinegar. And <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna taste. And then we are going to put some chicken stock in. There was something you were only supposed to put a little bit, maybe a shot of honey, or was that cornstarch? I'm not really sure. I guess chicken stock makes it saucy. I don't know. He said crush line, but that just sounds like so much work. Okay, we're gonna just do the dash of honey because that's what he said, and we are going to do a shot of that. He said, if you don't like spicy, don't do so much sriracha. We, do, I like spicy, but I don't know if like everybody here does, so we are gonna just put a little sriracha, but that is good, so we're gonna keep going with that. Okay, and then we're gonna do some crushed red peppers flakes. We do like this, I use this a lot with Oh my cooking kind of smells good. Okay. That's a good sign, I guess. Cornstarch. I'm not sure. I guess you can't really go wrong with cornstarch. Okay. Oh, okay, maybe too much. Maybe too much. You just put a dash of this in. Maybe a little more soy sauce since this is the sauce. It comes out little, so maybe I'm supposed to do that sparingly. I'm not sure. <coughs> All right, let's cut this lime with this vegetable board. So I got the lime for just this recipe, so dang it. I think I need a sharper knife. I don't know. Oh, maybe I'm just using a knife wrong. Okay. Now we're going to squeeze lime. Oh, my God. How the heck are you supposed to squeeze lime? Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no lime juice that came out. Oh my god, I got like one square. How the heck are you supposed to do that? No lime juice detected. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's whisk it. 
Should I show this on my today's hot? All right. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. Whisk it together. This kind of looks like the color he had. Is that enough sauce? I don't know. The bowl is deceiving. I don't know what else to add more of, like if I want to be cute about it. I guess just a little bit of everything, right? Like it makes sense, like a little more chicken stock, but we don't want to water it down, right? So, like what makes it it, you know what I mean? This stuff is dark. I feel like it needs to be like a little bit darker. I guess this is probably a time when I shouldn't measure because this is not kind of crazy, but I guess when I doubt soy sauce, right? I don't know. This sauce does not necessarily look super appetizing. You know what, when in doubt, put a little more sriracha on it, right? Okay. Okay. I don't know, a little corn, did I put too much cornstarch in maybe? I don't know, let's put a little bit more and like even it out. I feel like starch is always good. It's always like the baked chicken it adds stuff to, so. All right. It smells like something. <laughs> This might be, this might be the, the end of it. All right, let's see. Okay. So now we are prepping the chicken. Um, this looks like, I don't know, this could be, this could also be disaster, I'm not sure. Um, I'll just go ahead and, I guess two chicken breasts will probably be enough. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here just to not, you know, you know. All right, so here is the chicken. I should probably, okay. So we're just cutting this chicken up, I guess. I don't know, cut this little piece off, it's bothering me. Okay. What is that? Yeah, okay. So this is going into a bowl, but we gotta cut it up first. So, I just touched the, okay, I wipe it down. I just touched the trash, okay. All right, so, I don't know. Oh my God, this is so much, okay, okay, okay. Let's try and do one chicken at a time. That's the trick to everything, just one thing at a time. We don't need to be extra. Okay, hi. <laughs> I forgot my tea. Oh, like I heard somebody. I don't know how that, smells but <laughs> it smells good really oh, the green pepper like green onion you like it or you don't like it you do mm. well i don't know how that sauce it's very i don't know i never cook with that stuff so i don't know it smells good remind me to lice all that trash thing i keep touching it with my raw chicken hand people are freaking me out about raw chicken and like handling it and so now i'm like scared to touch anything yeah it's true what's true what happens um like salmonella and different diseases, yeah. Like if I'm touching the chicken or if I'm touching the trash? If there's raw chicken left anywhere. If there's raw chicken left anywhere and then you make food on that. Okay. You can see. Well, remind me to write this thing down. It does smell good, like I smell this. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've never made noodles, I've never made soy sauce. I don't know. How far everything you made is. Good? Mm -hmm. Well, not everything. I feel like there's stuff you didn't like. Which one? Mm. No, I'm not everything. Really? There wasn't one you didn't like? I feel like there has to be something. No, everything was really good and it gets better every time we do it. Well, I feel like now I'm not going with the safe bet, so now I'm a little more scared to make stuff. I think there's more chances that I'll like it more than you will. You think? <laughs> because it's something you No, but you don't like Asian food so much. I do. Yeah, like you don't really. Yes, I do. Hmm? I do. Oh, 
almost if you like this one. Especially if it's homemade. I mean, it's a big difference from a restaurant. I love noodles, but I'm scared I'm gonna mess up the noodles. I think it's enough chicken or shake it up more. Uh, it's enough for me and you and your mom. You think? Yeah, because I mean, it goes with noodles and everything else, right? Yeah. But what if like the chicken's the best part? Put more. I mean, that's. Because I guess it's gonna go bad anyways. Oh yeah, but maybe I'll we'll put a little more. I got it. My hands already. I mean, raw chicken is kind of like not the best texture. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of gross. <laughs> it is a strange texture, but I've never, I've never dealt with raw chicken in my life. I've never touched a raw chicken before I started this cooking series. Like, I didn't know you could buy it at the grocery store. Like, I didn't know how people cook chicken. <laughs> Filming. Okay. Why? Just don't interrupt. Okay. Yes, I want to just get this marinated and ready to go into the walk. Okay. So that's that with the chicken. Now let's put this in a big bowl, which is over. Oh, I don't want to touch you. Okay. Ah! Okay, here. Let's take this. Oh my god, my hair's gonna get in the sauce. All right, here we go. All right, so take this bowl. I'm gonna wash everything. Okay, put the chicken in the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna have to wash my hands anyway. So now with cut up raw chicken, we are going to add soy sauce to it. Salt and pepper, and then marinade as well as some salt and pepper. <sighs> All right, so now we have the soy sauce and now we're going to put salt. He put a pinch of salt, so is that a pinch? Equivalent probably. He said lots of pepper, like I think he said lots of pepper, or he likes the pepper. I really forgot. I just wanted to get the prep stuff as he called done. I do think it'll be easy once this is done. The prep is always, but we're gonna go ahead and pepper this so it has a little bit of a different flavor than I normally cook. But yeah, it's really just getting all the ingredients. It was kind of annoying to get all the ingredients at the store. Okay. So once we do that now, we soak the chicken. Oh, it smells, it does smell really good actually. Mm. Yum! I never thought I would be, know how to make this kind of food. I mean, it, I guess it seems simple to most people and probably is simple once I know it. But again, keep in mind someone who's never cooked before, not bad. All right, so let's wash hands and look at the next steps. Okay. So he already had his noodles done. I don't know if like he bought them that way or what, but I just got these. These look uncooked. It says to boil in water for five to six minutes. I've actually never cooked noodles and they don't even have the same texture as pasta. Like they literally, literally look like straws. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> Is this focus? I don't know. Okay. Oh, they're like tied up. Okay. So we're in duck. Ah! Okay, there's one. And it says only five to six minutes and I did boil the water beforehand. So I don't know. Okay, there's two. And, oh my god, there's so many in this pack. Wow, oh, okay. And we're gonna just do another, I'll well, do one more for good luck. Three. And four. So while that boils for five to six minutes, we are going to go ahead and start sauteing. Oh, let me get the time. Oh, let me just show my TikTok and then I'll get the time. Boil? <laughs> I don't know what that was for. Okay. So 717, 722. All right, so now let's saute over here. We're gonna turn this on. He said medium, I think. I don't know. All right, so now I gotta walk just for this and I'm very excited because I love fried rice. That's my next venture, if you know, and would with a good fried rice recipe, preferably like P.F. Chang's or something, just lets me know because I'm all about that fried rice life. Or what's the one we like? Um, 
Oh, no, what's that one from Freeport? Potato, potato beef. Potato beef or egg rolls, let us know. All right, so then we're gonna do the walk with some cooking oil. Ooh, is that a lot? I don't know, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have to walk on, and now we're gonna take our veggie. Oh, okay, that is boiling. All right, so, and we're going to dump our veggies in there. Ooh, cooking, I feel so um, bougie. I'm like, ooh, look at me knowing how to cook. I don't know if that's enough. First of all, that is skin on an onion. We don't know to put some skin in there. Oh. <laughs> all right, so now we saute. I put way too much oil for the amount of vegetables in there. <laughs> oh, all right. Noodles are going overboard. All right, so we're going to saute these. I don't know. He also kind of zhuzh them. Oh, Ooh, this is kind of light, actually. <laughs> so once those are done, you set them to the side and put in the chicken. Okay. Someone was saying as I was doing these cooking ones and showing the TikTok, like you're teaching us how to TikTok at the same time. I'm like, well, there you go, a two for one price. Okay, he set these to the side. Let's just. I don't know. Is it setting it to the side? Okay, we'll just set it over here. <laughs> okay, that's setting it to the side. Now we are going to take some more cooking oil and do the chicken. So cooking oil, medium. All right, here comes the sun. Okay, here comes the chicken. <laughs> ah! All right. I guess since we already used this, we gotta wash this anyway, so we're gonna just go ahead and scoop all the chicken in there. Okay. Now we're going to medium. Okay. Now we're gonna try and separate the chicken. How did that flame already go down so much? Okay. I don't know if I put too much soy sauce on my chicken. <laughs> it's a lot darker than his. Trying to buy that. <sighs> Maybe I should cut up my chicken more, but oops. Alright, so we'll let that go for a couple minutes on one side and then he said to flip it over. Alright, so now I mixed the vegetables back in with the chicken. And we're gonna go ahead and add the noodles on low heat before adding the secret sauce. So we're gonna put the noodles in there. All right. And kind of use his tongs. But I guess we can kind of put, oh, you know what? I think he actually put the chicken out first and then put the noodles in. Let me get my tongs now that we're going with cooked everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to kind of evenly distribute, because I kind of did it the wrong way, is I'm gonna put our secret sauce on. Woo! All right. Let me show this on my TikTok as well, because this is what I made earlier, and it looks kind of crazy, but it smells kind of good, so. Now you're gonna take the sauce and add it on. I really didn't measure any of this right, so <laughs> I don't know if the proportions are right, but I guess we'll find out. All right. <laughs> I don't know. He says it should become more of a glaze rather than a sauce. Don't really know what that means. <laughs> I guess so it's thick, so it's not as liquidy. His was really like saucy. I'm gonna, t I tried to apply the same method as butter noodles. I was trying to emulsify my noodles in with the chicken 
and veggies. Honestly, way more veggies for sure were needed, but. Hmm. I feel like this is gonna be very, very salty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> this one might not be good, but you know, we tried. Alright, so we're going, I don't know how long he did this for, but I'm also gonna throw in those original green onions and then um, some sesame seeds. mostly noodles at this point and just a little bit of chicken but all right I'm gonna emulsify this more and then we'll see how it goes a dash of green onions on top okay. and yeah my mom made a good point I'm gonna put a little too much oil in the pan and I'll let it boil Okay, that's more cooking oil, not just oil. So it's a little oily, but that's okay. All right, we're already going to serve this up and sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. Now that I served them in proportion bowls, I'm gonna just put a little bit more of green onion on top, maybe make it look a little prettier. This definitely isn't like the presentation, but you know, it's definitely oily, but we're fine. And then I went and did a special trip to get these sesame seeds, so I'm going to freaking use them. I don't know if you're supposed to like emulsify this in the sauce, probably. <laughs> but we're gonna put those on top to make it look like an Asian inspired dish. All right, so now we are going to do the taste test. Okay, I'm doing my first bite on this camera and on TikTok. I'm really nervous because it smells like just salty and um, let's see. Oh my gosh, okay, this is so much pressure. Okay. And I also don't know how to use chop chopsticks properly, so. First of all, let me do my little thumbnail one. Right? Because I'm very proud of myself. Literally have no idea how to use chopsticks, but. Oh, I'm shiny. Okay, cute. Alright, let's try this. Bye. First bite. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna try it. Okay. All right, guys, wanna come in? Do we? I don't know. Mm-hmm. All right. Chopsticks. Yeah. Don't put the chopsticks straight up because it means death. Don't what? You can't put them straight in because it means death. All right. Okay. I'm gonna use on TikTok and here. Wait, okay, hold on, where's my thing already? Okay. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Not the best? What do you think? <laughs> Tell me you're honest. Too salty? No, it's actually not salty. It's just what? A little greasy. A little oily? Mm hmm. True Chinese food. But it's good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's oily. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Just leave it there. Uh, green, yeah. The green onion. Babe, I think you just like everything. I like the green onion. Did you try some of the chicken? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And you like that too? The chicken is really good. Definitely need more vegetable, maybe less sauce. Did you have the chicken by itself? What do you mean? Just a bite of Yeah, it. but it was just soy. But it's so good. The sauce is okay. Hmm? It's just next really? You need to put a little bit, little bit of oil and let it sizzle. Before yeah. Put the veggies in. I didn't let the soaked, oil. They're soaked in the oil. That's a good point. Other than that, this would be great. <laughs> That'd be bomb. And more veggies, yeah. Mm-hmm. What you put in there? <laughs> I like, I only have like a little bit of green onion, I guess. We just didn't buy enough. Ooh, I got really salty on mine. What were the first veggies you put in though? A green onion, white onion, and baby tomatoes. I like the noodles. Mm-hmm. More veggies though. 
Well, good. I'm, I can't stop eating. Okay, out of 10, um, honestly, it's a 10 out of 10 for TikTok because that's TikTok, but for real, <laughs> I'd say like 7 out of 10. What'd you rate it? Yeah. I'm Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, because it's like maybe one small change. What would you? What was your small change? Mom said less like well, what? Ten what? out of ten for your effort. Thank I you. Know. <laughs> you really. I did put a lot so of the, effort. The chicken is ten. Like the chicken is so good. So maybe the just... noodles are good. I don't know. Maybe like that's where the couple of points oh, are in the sauce. Oh, let me stretch. Oh, okay. Oh, new sad. Oh, I thought that was the uh, new sad boy. Uh, part. I don't know. We gotta organize that night. I still got a lot to do. So. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this was pretty good. I'll link below the recipe. The noodles also seem like they're kind of falling apart. Maybe I shouldn't have cooked the noodles for so long. They kind of seem like they're falling apart a little bit. But. All right, thanks for my testers. <coughs> We're gonna go work some more. And we'll see you guys soon. Sad Boy merch two coming. Sad Boy album two coming. Mom's new house coming. Our new house coming. It's all happening. See you guys soon.